So Kai, are you really excited for the upcoming Nintendo Direct that hasn't been confirmed and may not even be happening? <laughs> oh boy, am I. I bet. <laughs> hey guys, um, I'm the Chosen One Legend here with my co-host. Hi, I'm Kai, also known as Faskerai. And welcome to a Bunch of Jokers discussion where we're going to be making predictions on a Nintendo Direct which has been rumoured but we have no confirmation so... This could be completely obsolete. <laughs> yeah, uh, personally, I don't think it's going to happen. Like, you don't. <laughs> not this soon. I feel like we're going to get one in like a month, but uh, a little bit of speculation won't hurt, and hopefully yeah. things in this video still hold up. So The thing is, usually I'd wait for a, um, for them to announce it first, but because of the last one, how they shadow dropped it, um, so <laughs> you never know. Yeah, they could do that again. Yeah. Because um, even if they don't release one on Monday, I think we've got to be getting one within a month or so at some point, uh, so... Yeah, we'll just delete this video off of YouTube and then re-upload it <laughs> re -upload and pretend it, uh... like it's a different date. <laughs> Kai, I think you're onto something here. <laughs> but yeah, so um, obviously we haven't had... Um, now that Paper Mario's out, there are no new games we know about, official release dates at least. Uh, yeah, the closest we've much. closest we've got is um, Bravely Default 2, we know is 2020, but other than that, it... <laughs> It's up in the yeah. air. Um, There's like Breath of the Wild 2 and that, but Breath of the Wild's ages away. Yeah, Prime 4, you know, <laughs> eight, probably ages away. There's there's a whole bunch of there's stuff like mentioned. Indie games are coming out. Yeah, yeah, there's like, not it's not like there's that's nothing. That's about it, though. <laughs> um, Kai, don't forget um, Bakugan, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I don't even want to talk about that. Oh, yet, Kai, man. we'll oh. be talking about that in the proper podcast. Just save your feelings. Uh... <laughs> All right. But for now, yeah, we're just... Um, We've got five predictions each for whenever this presentation happens, whenever it may be. We're just going to um, go through them one by one. There's probably going to be crossover b between us, so we'll tackle those at the same time. But um, otherwise, are you ready to uh, get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, then. Um, I guess I'll start things off with my first prediction, which is um, probably the most obvious one. But I think we'll be seeing the rumoured Mario 3D remakes. I think... Okay, yeah, that was one of mine as well. Yeah, I thought that might be. That's um, That's been very... Just because it is the obvious choice. It yeah. is, yeah. It's been heavily rumoured, and I think it was actually rumoured for July, even, or something like that. Um, oh, cool. But basically, in case you don't know, the idea is that we're getting a uh, collection of possibly remastered or upgraded ports of Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, as well as a separate yep. um, remake of 3D World, um, or port from the Wii U. Um, so, you, yeah. th you think it's quite likely then? Um, I'd... Mm, I think it's kind of likely. Like, not mm. the most certain thing, but it's definitely up there as a big option that Nintendo could take because yeah. those games are, like, very loved by fans. So, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, point. I mean, it's a it's 35th anniversary. Not, not that that particularly means much as a landmark. You know, it's just in 35. But, um... I guess yeah. any excuse to release these games that people will definitely play. Uh, I All the 35-year-olds out there are seething <laughs> in fury right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, um, I've alienated at least one member of our fan base who's 35. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, I think I think it's it's possible. And, yeah. Um, they could release it as a 35th anniversary thing um, if they wanted to. Yeah. I'd be cool with it. It's, uh, cause ha have you played any of those games? Um, I played Mario Galaxy One and Two. I've yep. played Super Mario sixty four DS. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not the original, that's unfortunately. Interesting. <laughs> that's um, however, I'm yet same. to play Sunshine. Same. So. That's that's the one I haven't played. Um, despite the fact technically I grew up GameCube era, uh, I had a PS two. So. <laughs> ah, um, I see. I see. And they've never re-released Sunshine in any form, as far as I'm aware. So, uh, it should it should be fun. And if it does happen, I think. Yeah. I think Mario 64 in particular, I, I did play that and the level design holds up superbly, but the things like the camera and controls are very much Nintendo 64 era, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of hoping that if they do release uh, 64 on the Switch, mm. there's like a version that plays exactly like the original, like a direct port, Yeah. and then there's one that's like a, a mixed version, you know, maybe they take... Uh, 64 DS, and then add a bit more onto that, even. Yeah, I mean, why not add, you know, Rosalina as another character, like they did for 3D World or something. Um, 
Yeah, like, I think it would be cool because then you have the people who, you know, enjoy speedrunning and that kind of thing, they get the opportunity to play it on there. Yeah. But at the same time, you get a real refined version for maybe new people to the uh, to the game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the more options, the better. And uh, I think Galaxy will probably be the least touched one. There's not really much besides making it shinier they can do with that one. <laughs> well, that's that's... Some people call it a masterpiece. I'd say it's not exactly a masterpiece, but close to it, so... Yeah, it's, um... It's, it's hard to think of much more they could add, at least, I think. No. Yeah, it's just one of those, um, like, sets of games that you think, like, it, it's, it's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, like, the fact you mentioned Galaxy 2, that pretty much added all the ideas, they, they um, extra ones they had from the first one as well, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You've, uh, you've got four games there. Um, if they did release it as a collection, it's very unnintendo like because they, like making the most out of your money, usually. Uh. Pretty much. The only exception being the, um, you know, like the gold deluxe version of uh, the new Super Mario series? Yes, yeah. Um. That's the one exception, but apart <laughs> from that, they do love doing separate re-releases. Huh? Yeah, that's true. So, uh, I guess I guess time will tell. 3D Worlds, I think, would be fun, but I, I wouldn't see any reason to buy it since I had it on the Wii U. I don't think there's much they could add that yeah. get my interest, but, you know... Pe not that many people had a Wii U, so a great chance for them to try it out for the first time, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the only extra little thing I had extending from that Mario idea yeah. was um, I'm thinking there's a slight chance of getting a new Mario Kart game, like Mario Kart 9. Interesting. Or something of that of that essence, because um, yeah. you know, we've got Mario Kart 8 on the Switch, that's, that's a fact. Um, however, you know, it's been a while. It's been, what, over three years at this point, and... Yeah. That was at the beginning of the Switch's lifespan, whereas it might be worth not maybe not even doing like an exact Mario Kart 9, but doing a Mario Kart spin-off game or, or something like that, you know, doing something with that I, series. I think that could be interesting. I the reason I don't think it'd be Mario Kart 9, perhaps, is because A is still selling like crazy well, so <laughs> That is it's true. Almost it's, a, like, it's a surprisingly good uh, good selling game. Yeah, they don't they don't really need to make a nine at the moment. Not not that they couldn't, but um, whilst it's still making them money. But if they did like a spin off or something, maybe a more adventure based one, like you know how you might have heard Diddy Kong Racing had like a story in that, you know. Did it? So maybe oh. if they take a more approach like that, as opposed to the all in multiplayer, that could provide a I, different experience. Yeah. I mean, I just want them to take as many elements from Mario Kart DS as possible, because that game... <laughs> oh, the, that the mission modes, they were fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were great boss yeah. fights. Mario 64 yes, it boss is, fights, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, so, you know, I would happily see that. Um, but yeah. um, I think that's it for Mario, or those games. Have you? What's your um, first prediction that I haven't stolen from you? <laughs> uh, well, my next one, I guess... Um, I guess what I want to talk about, again, it's slightly Mario based, so we'll, mm -hmm. we'll go for this one. But um, I want to see something from Next Level Games. Oh! That's Next Direct. That's interesting. So, Next Level Games, I like them as developers because they're very good at adding personality to their games. Um, <laughs> very good, yeah. The most recent, yeah, the most recent one being Luigi's Mansion 3. Mm. Um, but again, that was released last year, so what yep. I think is they're going to make maybe a slightly smaller game from one of their other IPs. Mm -hmm. And the two options I've narrowed it down to, uh, my two favourites from them, are Punch-Out and uh, Mario Strikers. That would be cool. <laughs> those are those, yeah. those are both franchises I've never actually played yet. So, um, oh, actually, I played a bit of the original Punch-Out, but um, I, haven't, I didn't play the Wii version, so... Uh... Yeah, um, somehow they're really good at adding personality to their games with these characters that mm. don't even talk. <laughs> um, but they make, they you know, they make really interesting gameplay because Punch Out is called, uh, all about reactions and, you know, learning the enemy. Yeah. Mario Strikers is just plain fun. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's been ten years since we've seen anything from either of those series, so one could say they're dead. They probably yeah. are, but <laughs> I, I'm going to be hopeful. You know, I would happily see that. I mean, I, I watched you play Strikers, and it looked like a lot of fun. And you know, if they if they could modernise that and add online, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, the Switch is the perfect console for Mario Strikers. Yeah. You just have one person have each Joy-Con or something like that. Like, Definitely, it's yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really cool idea. Um, so ho ho fingers crossed yeah. that they um, give us something at least. And <laughs> that would be really hype if they did that, but that would I, I unfortunately think they won't. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it would be cool for them to surprise us. Just anything that we don't already know of or haven't heard rumoured would be nice. So. Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, and both of those would be quite small games compared to um, mm. Luigi's Mansion 3, so... Plausible, I, it yeah. Wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't put it past them if they released it sometime next year. No, definitely. Um, my, my next um, prediction is a little different. It's one we've heard of. Um, I think it's possible we could see something of Bayonetta 3. I, ah, I've heard about that, but yeah. I know very little about all that. Well, basically, <laughs> it was announced at the um, Video Game Awards... Um, was it like two years ago now? Over two years ago? <laughs> oh, Alright, um, I remember that, yeah. We had just like a really small cinematic trailer that barely showed anything. And we've, um, they every now and then they've like said like, yeah, it's coming, don't worry, we're still working on it, it's not cancelled. But other than that, we haven't seen anything. So um, maybe oh, this no. is just, <laughs> I, I could be predicting this pretty much every prediction for the next year or so now, you know. But, <laughs> but I'm just going to say, I, I think it could happen. Um, I think it's yeah, time. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I don't know if it's you... a series I do want to get into, but I, I mm. never have. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I I first tried it out last year with the um the Switch one. If you buy Bayonetta two, it comes with Bayonetta one download, so you get two for the price of one, which is right. great. And um, okay. it's just fast paced, ridiculous action games. You know, fighting these ridiculous bosses. <laughs> it, yeah. There's no better word for it than ridiculous. That's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm cool with ridiculous, you know. <laughs> you've seen Bayonetta's character in Smash, so you get an idea of what she's like. <laughs> uh, broken? <laughs> you know what? Wait, are we talking Smash 4 or Smash 4, <laughs> very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty accurate for in-game as well, because you just plough your way through the hordes. A bit sort of Hyrule Warrior style in a way. You know, it's about combos and uh, <laughs> that kind yeah. of thing. I've, so, always, um, I've always seen it as a 3D castle crashes. Yeah, that, that's. <laughs> I see what you mean. There's much more effort put into it, though, of course. <laughs> you know, I, I know this is irrelevant, but I, I do want to get Castle Crashers on Switch. It looks a lot of fun. So. Oh, same. It's got to happen at some. It's point. Got to happen at some point. So <laughs> I was legit going to add that to my list to oh, talk really? about today. Then I was like, I was like, hang on, that's already coming to the Switch. It already is. Yeah. Three years on there. <laughs> I don't know. It just sort of flew <laughs> under people's radar, I think. But um, I do want to check it out. So. <laughs> yeah, sounds um, good. Have you got any? Uh, what's your next prediction? Uh, let me have a look at my list. Okay, so here's a small one. Um, mm -hmm. It's a series I haven't touched too much, but I would like to see a Fallout port on the Switch. Oh, um, that, that's cool. So, of course, we've already got Skyrim on the Switch as a port, mm. and, you know, that, I had a lot of fun with that. I put a couple hundred hours into that game. I've almost 100% of it, so mm. I wouldn't put it past Bethesda if they wanted to put Fallout on the Switch as well. Um, I'm not sure which game, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know the franchise well enough to say. I Probably one of their... Is, isn't like New Vegas is the one that's really liked or something? That's the one I was going to yeah. suggest, yeah. Because Fallout 4 is is the best one probably, but... A bit modern, um, like, maybe. It's, yeah, it's a, I don't know if the Switch can handle running Fallout 4, <laughs> so I think either 3 yeah. or New Vegas would be a good shout. Mm. As long as it's not 76, I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? <laughs> Like, oh yeah, the, no one would buy it. The Fallout, the Fallout logo pops up, everyone gets hyped, and then it's a 76. <laughs> it's, it's like Unite it's like all over again. again. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> but yeah, that. But uh, I, yeah, that's basically it from that. I so. mean, we got Vault Boy in Smash, technically, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's the that's, other thing. Um, like, it could be hinting at it. It could it, be coming. I, I think that's definitely in the realm of possibility. Yeah, and um, I, it, it's a franchise like I said I've never got to try out, but. Being on the Nintendo console would give me that opportunity, so... <laughs> yeah, I just want Elder Scrolls 6, man, please. <laughs> Switch exclusive, yeah. <laughs> I don't even care if it's on the Switch, I just I just want to see that game happen. Yeah, please. <laughs> one day, it'll happen the same day GTA 6 happens, you know, so... <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Um, I hate that because it's true. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but, um, before I get you upset anymore, I'll go on to... <laughs> I'll go on to my next prediction, which is actually not something we will see, but something I think we won't see. And um, I don't think we're going to see Smash. I, I don't know if you agree with that, mm -hmm. or, but I think it's just a bit okay. too early. Um, that's an interesting one. Mm. Uh, so you don't think we're going to see anything about it? No, I just... I, I think it's definitely possible, but if, if I had to make a prediction, I think it's a little bit too soon for now. I think... If it was like, uh, you know how ARMS, they announced the series a few months in advance? Uh, yeah. I think if they announced the series again, it could be now, but I don't see them doing that because 
announced in the series worked very specifically for ARMS because it could have been any of yeah, them. Yeah, because that had no main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Sakurai it. said. But if, even though, if they said, we're getting a fighter from Xenoblade 2, it's, yeah, it's Rex, you know. It's, <laughs> there's not much they can do. I don't know, man. One, they might so. put Mui Mui in. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've sold me. You've changed my mind, Kai. <laughs> uh, I, think, yeah. um, I think there's a chance, personally. Like, not a huge chance. Mm. I think it depends on who the character is. Like, if it's a That's huge true. one that people are hyped about, you know, if it's Minecraft Steve or something big, <laughs> yeah. then I don't think I don't think they'd announce it. But if it was a smaller character, say they add, uh, I, I don't even know who is an example, but if they added a, a character with less significance as the next DLC fighter, yeah. then I could see it being announced um, at this next one. Yeah, I think a first party fighter would be more likely than a third party, um, definitely, um, for this early. Yeah. But it's... Who knows, we may end up talking about our Smash uh, speculation at some point. You know, Kai, it's quite possible. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else do we have to talk about? There's literally nothing else coming that we know of. So. <laughs> That's cool. We, we could just, I don't know, man. We could just talk about um, Bakugan I... for 40 minutes. You know what? I'm all up for that. We can, uh, maybe we can like play it live or something, you know. <laughs> oh, Buy some no, Bakugan toys and... Uh... <laughs> But um, unless you have anything else, do you have you? What's your next prediction? <laughs> uh, uh, let's have a look. I have two left. I'm gonna leave my big one till the end. Sure um, thing. Okay, my next one is gonna be a series that I actually I, I talked to you about this um, a little bit after the last one of these we did. Oh yeah. Um, I'd be interested to see the uh, Dungan Romper series come to the Switch. Oh yeah, um, you did, yeah. Yeah, so for the uninitiated, it's um, the the premise is kind of dark. It wouldn't be a kids <laughs> game, but it's um, basically it, it's like an anime style game. But yeah, you you're at this place, whether it be like a school or an island or whatever. Sixteen mm. kids get trapped there, and they're forced to participate in like a killing game where uh, it, you you know you murder someone and you become what's called a blackened. And then there's a class trial to be held, so it's like a uh, you know a phoenix mm. right type thing. Yeah, I've, I've... Uh, where they find who. The uh, murderers. So. Yeah, it does sound really interesting, and you know, like I said, it's not, it's not one I've played, but N Nintendo we, they've shown they're not afraid of putting more adult games on the Switch. We saw Catherine Full Body release this month. Yeah. So uh... <laughs> it's definitely possible. And yeah. um, on top of that, it was developed by um, all, all of the games are developed by Spike Chunsoft, mm -hmm. and um, who, who have made games. They they made the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh really? I think ah. it was, or, or one. I think it was the original. Yeah. That's and cool. uh, they also made a game recently for the Switch that was also called Mystery Dungeon, but it wasn't the Pokemon one. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but um, yeah, it was their 10th anniversary, I think it was like a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and they announced that, that uh, the main three games in the series were all getting ported to iOS and Android. Oh. So, And we've seen a lot of games get ported to both the I like iOS and Android and the Switch at similar times, so yeah, definitely. it could be possible. I, I, you know, I'd love I, to see it because I want to play those games a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't put it past them, and that's definitely like the same as some of the other stuff you mentioned, and more f for people to try out who haven't been able to because they're stuck on Nintendo platforms. So, uh, no. Yeah, it's a great like <laughs> a visual novel type game. Uh, very good plots. Yeah, all that sort. Of that would be good because I've seen quite a few visual novels on the eShop, but they all look really, really awful. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I played a demo of one where you like turn into a cat or something <laughs> with a friend. So. It's, um... Yeah, so I mean, they, they, all three of those games would be cool to see. I, I'd be down for that. that. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Um, hopefully we might see that soon. Um, yeah. As for my next prediction, I'm going a bit more mainline, and I think I think it's possible we might see something Kirby. Um, but I'm, Kirby? I'm okay. being more specific, I think we'll see a Kirby spin-off. Because they love their Kirby right. spin-offs. There's Most consoles have one. You, you've got like uh, air rides, you've got Mass Attack, you've got the Canvas Curse and Rainbow Curse, they're pretty much everywhere. But besides the um, yeah. free-to-play fighters we don't talk about that's on the Switch, you know, <laughs> Ig ignoring that, there's there hasn't been one on the Switch yet, and it's been a, a little while since the last main game, so I think, I, I, I'm not sure what it could be, I think it's quite possible it could be something original, because they like to innovate with Kirby, but I, I think this is about time for Kirby to get some more momentum on the Switch. Yeah, I'd be down with that, and I definitely would want them to mix up with Kirby, because mm. if I'm honest, I don't like a lot of the mainline Kirby games. Mm. Like, they're, they're not bad, but... What, what ones have I... you played out of curiosity? Um, Epic Yarn, uh, mm. one of the ones on the 3DS, I don't remember the name of it. 
Um, uh, Robobot or Triple Deluxe? No, no Triple Deluxe. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. the one. Mm. Uh, as well as... Um, I've, I've also played the golf one on the oh, yeah. uh, NES. Kirby's Pinball, What's is it? it? Or Kirby's Golf Course? Yeah, Kirby's... Ah. So I, I, whatever it's called, anyway. I literally just <laughs> dropped my mic. That should be interesting. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> don't worry about it. Um, Continue. But yeah, what, whatever it's called. like I, I just I don't like the main Kirby games that much, because mm. although they're interesting, I like the copy ability. I, I don't like basic platformers like that, you know? It's, yeah. It's, it's it, like a, I don't really like slow platformers in that sense. I, I can see um, what you mean. Star Allies in particular it, played it very safe. It, it was it was a good yeah. Kirby game. It just wasn't. And if you've got some friends around, it's a laugh. It's just it didn't do much exciting. Yeah. Know? So it's a bit of a personal just like preference that I don't like playing those games. So I'd love to see a spin-off. Yeah, they do get really creative. I think even an Air Ride Two or something. That's something that I'd be interested in because I've heard that's really fun. So. Yeah. <laughs> If, if, and I mean, similar to what I said earlier, the more they can take from like uh, uh, Sakurai's other series, uh, yes, Kidicles, yeah, the more they can take from that, the better. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I mean, the poor guy's stuck in Smash Forever now, so. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, just make like a hybrid game between the two or something. I'd be so down for that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, and anything, anything Sakurai, I'm, I'm all ears for. So. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so, have, so you said you've got one more prediction, is it? Yeah, one final one, mm -hmm. and you've probably heard it a lot before, but I want to see Pikmin 4, please! <laughs> oh, interesting! <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing it up once again. Um, oh, I, I like the Pikmin I, series, man. Yeah, I nearly, actually, I nearly <laughs> put a, um, a, a Portal 3, Pikmin 3, on my list, nearly. Um, ah, okay. I'd be down with that. Mm. Um, I was more focused on the uh, Pikmin 4 side of things, though, because yeah. they announced it four years ago, man. <laughs> Come on. You think it's, it's, it it's could be one of the things, they could be just sitting on it waiting for the right time, or, I, you know... They better be. I'm cool with that. Like, with, um, with Prime, when they messed it up, they officially announced it, you know, and they said, okay, we're changing things, but we haven't heard anything like that from Prime, um, from Pikmin, so... Well, we just haven't heard anything exactly, from Pikmin yeah. at all at this so point. It's, it's, What's it's going bizarre. on, man? <laughs> Give me answers, please. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't surprise me if it is the kind of thing they have been sitting on, and then they can just say, "Hey, it's coming in a in a month," like they did with um, Paper Mario. So, I could see yeah, it. Yeah, I'd know? like to say they're going to put it in a dry spot, but we've had a dry spot for like a couple of months now. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we we literally there's like we said before, there's literally nothing. So, Pikmin would probably get more attention than it's ever got before if they released it within the next two months or so. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I'd love to see Pikmin, man. I just like playing the series. It's fun. What What do you think they would um, what, what do you think it would be like on the Switch? Do you think they'd change? How do you think it progressed from three? In, um, in terms of the gameplay or story? Either really, whichever you think. Um, in terms of the gameplay, uh, I guess they'd go like rather than doing what they did for the uh, Wii U, they'd probably revert back to similar controls that they had on uh, Pikmin Two. Hmm. Um. So, Makes sense. which I'd struggle to get used to because I'm used to playing with the gamepad. <laughs> but um, you know, I could get used to it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I bet it'll be an option actually, for. You could, um, do the Wii, you could do the Wii remote controls on the Switch because of the uh, Joy-Con sensors. Yeah, you could. The, the, so. With pointer controls, it would be a bit off because there's no sensor bar, so it wouldn't be as perfect. But um, it's definitely that is true. Though. It would definitely be functionable as an option. Yeah. Um, and with the story, I mean, Pikmin Three ends off with. Uh, Alf, Brittany, Charlie, and Olimar uh, flying off of PNF 404 back to their homes and that. Spoilers, Kai! Oh, gosh! Oh, <laughs> God, a seven year old game! No! <laughs> no! Um, but yeah, like, Louis is left on the island once again. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure it even says, like, to be continued or something at the end, so. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I mean, it might be something either. It's going to be something revolving around, around Louis, whether he's the main character of it, or if mm. he's like a main antagonist, like he's been in Pikmin 2. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I, I just want to see more of it. I think that's possible, and if I think even if we did get, if it was just a port of Pikmin 3, I think it's possible they could add like an extra, sort of like Future Connected, but you know, not Future Connected, like a little post-game Louis story maybe or something, if it was going to be, be cool. you know, I mean, port. 
during the um, story of the game when you're playing as Alf, Brittany and Charlie, mm. there's also, um, like, during that you know that Al uh, Olimar and Louis are actually on the island too, exploring yes. different places. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. So they very well could do something following that, they could do something following Louis. Uh, as well as that, they could do what Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did, and because uh, Pikmin has like a mission mode and a defeat enemies mode. Yes, yeah. Um, and I love mission mode. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had 15 stages on each of those, but you could only play the first seven on each. The rest of them were locked behind DLC. Ah. So you could just unlock those as a deluxe version. Pretty nice. Yeah, definitely. I could see them doing that. Um, so. Yeah, and I want to see the uh, uh, the uh, president make a return to <laughs> the Pikmin series. He's a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be against that. He's, he, he's got a pretty cool design, yeah. you know, so... <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even, like, one final idea for that, which I've just come up with, mm -hmm. is, as a bit of an extension, like you were saying, they could just reintroduce the dungeons from Pikmin 2, because Pikmin oh, is yeah. a pretty easy game, so... They could always just reintroduce that, and that, it'd be cool. That's a good way you've got the main game for um, for uh, newcomers, but then you've got something extra for the veterans, so that would be a good option to have. Yeah. Maybe even go like full like Link's Awakening mode and make a dungeon maker. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that that could be interesting actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the pain that would come from that, but yeah, it'd be fun. Hopefully, it would be better than Link's Awakening one, and that you'd hopefully be able to actually share them with people. So. <laughs> yeah. As long as they do something. Yeah. With Pikmin, as long as they make Pikmin show up on the Switch, I'm happy. Hey, Pikmin, Switch <laughs> port. <laughs> Please. I'll take it. <laughs> Anything at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's uh, all of my predictions. I honestly still don't think it's going to happen, but if it does, yeah, that's what I want to see. Well, I've got one more, and um, think um, okay. on, on the topic of things that probably aren't going to happen. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I think maybe we could see something of Metroid. And I don't... Metroid, okay. Metroid. <laughs> Can it crawl, though? So <laughs> but I, right. I don't think Prime 4, just to get that straight out, but I think... Possibly a Prime Trilogy release, or if not, maybe even the 2D Metroid. I think it's been a while since Samus Returns, which was really good. That was a, um, you know, that was a fantastic yeah. update to the original Metroid 2, which played pretty much like a new game. And you know, I think it's, I don't know how well it sold exactly, but there's enough there, for a foundation to build a brand new Metroid game. So I feel like it could have been in the works all this time, and now might be the right time for it to release. A uh, bit of a stopgap till Prime yeah. 4. I mean, I don't know much about the uh, recent Metroid games, but I'd be cool with seeing a new one. I'd be cool with trying it out, you know? Yeah, it's, um, I really liked um, Samus Returns because I've, I've played a bit of the, two, the other 2D ones and sort of my main... I enjoy them, but my main issue is that Samus is very sluggish, so it's often really hard to dodge enemy attacks when they throw lots at you. Uh, right. But what Samus Returns did is add the counter move, where when an enemy attacks you, you get a timing right and you can instantly counter them and that really ah, fixes cool. that problem and a whole game built around that from scratch would be you know that could be really cool so <laughs> nice plus we haven't seen anything in the metroid story since uh fusion that's the latest game in the timeline and that was like uh what 15 years ago or something probably so <laughs> yeah was that the one with uh dark samus in um not dark samus Dark Samus is um, from Prime series, uh, but there is like a. Oh, my bad. There's like an alien Samus. I can't remember what she's called. Um, but she like steals Samus's suit and it's an alien parasite version of her. So. <laughs> so Dark Samus. No, Bas kidding. Basically, Dark <laughs> Samus. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, isn't that what Dark Samus is? <laughs> Pretty much, you know. They just sort of. Um, they have they have a few ideas they like to use in Metroid. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah it, it could be interesting. So um, I think it's but also it's good that they've recognised that they need to remake it, though, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And it would be that a, was a good sign. It would be a good, you know, sort of stopgap on the way to Prime Four, you know, because I think that's still at least a year, probably two years off. So, Def so, so give give Metroid fans something, you know. <laughs> yeah, they'd appreciate it, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I, I, I rally with them alongside us as Pikmin fans. Unless, <laughs> alongside Hey Pikmin 2, they get Federation Force 2 or something, you know. So. <laughs> no, they get Hey Metroid. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, God. Metroid Unite. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, cursed. But that is, that is all of my main predictions. Um, 
and I'm guessing you, you're spent right. as well. Um, yeah, I could not think of anything else. Yeah, the like. only the only other two things I wanted to mention, we've already sort of start, said at the beginning. Neither of us think Zelda's happening, it's too soon, right? I'm yeah, guessing, yeah. Um, I feel like they're going to wait until the next directs to reveal anything else. Yeah, so. you know, it's, it's weird because I almost, part of me thinks it's possible it's further along than we thought, and that had it had there been E3, we might have seen the Zelda blowout at E3, and in which case yeah. it could be possible, but you know, I I don't want to get my hopes up, so I'm just going to say it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be patient for now, because yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful that that game does well. Definitely, I love yeah. Breath of the Wild so much. <laughs> I think Breath of the Wild's got my my favorite gameplay of any game. So. It is fantastic, yeah. and uh, the longer the longer they take to release two, the more time I have to actually get around to replaying the first one. So <laughs> that's, 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 true. A, that's a bonus. I've, I've played through Breath of the Wild uh, one uh, three times now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you. I I do not. <laughs> um, the other thing I think is it, it almost feels like too boring a bet to put, which is why I didn't include it, but. We could probably see Bravely Default 2 talked about a bit more because that's coming out at the end of Perhaps, this year. Yeah. Um, it might be a bit too early if it's, if it's going to be an October game or something, but um, you know, I, I think it's possible. I just don't have much to say about it. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if um, there's not another Direct before then, then they'll probably introduce like something from that game. Definitely, yeah, depending on how when we do get this direct or you know they could they could even not do a direct and just continue to announce things like they did with paper mario but <laughs> yeah maybe i'm not nowhere. sure how i feel about that whether it's better or worse but, no I, eh, I, I don't know i feel like it's okay for the odd one i i don't think it's as good to do for everything so i guess we'll yeah, see because directs are hype so. they are that's it it's the just out of nowhere be waiting for like the trailer to start you know it's <laughs> Yeah, I get it, yeah. I need to live stream one of those at some point. I still oh, have a chance because ever since I started streaming, there's been this <laughs> drought. <laughs> yeah, the thing, even the March one, they um, they, they just dropped it out of nowhere, which is what this one probably will be if it does happen. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that one was frustrating because I, I wasn't on my phone at the time. Mm. Um, so I didn't see what was happening. And I picked up my phone and I, I just um, uh, I, I checked uh, just Instagram really quick. And I saw yeah. a post about Xenoblade Definitive Edition. I was like, I haven't seen this trailer. <laughs> Where's this come from? <laughs> I was uh, like, oh yeah. my god, there's been a new Xenoblade trailer out for an hour. <laughs> I'm, uh, just in case, I'm going to be alert on Monday. I'm going to be, like, checking Twitter throughout the day. <laughs> okay. Or something, because that's what happened with the last one. I saw they, um, there were rumours of it being on, I think it was the first day or Friday. And when it wasn't announced, I was like, ah, oh, no, it's not happening, never mind. And part way through the day, yeah. suddenly Discord blew up and I was like, wait, what's happening? What? What is this? <laughs> Xenoblade. Yeah, I'm going to keep so. aware this time around to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> but um, either way, I just I just hope they give us this news sometime because otherwise... Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, can... I mean, I've got Definitive Edition, like Xenoblade Definitive Edition now. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, that's else. true. And I'm, um, <laughs> I've started, I'll get into this more in the next podcast, but I've started replaying... Torna and Xenoblade 2, so that will last me a while. So I'm not I'm not sure of things to play by any means. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, so, but um, still, it's always exciting to uh, have the hype behind new stuff. So um, hopefully, we will see kind of stuff soon. Um, but until yeah, then, I think that's everything. Pretty much. Yeah. So um, thank you guys all for watching this. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I get this out before. A direct releases otherwise it'll be kind of obsolete but <laughs> I'll, I'll do speed editing um uh, thank you kai of course for um talking through this with me on short notice <laughs> yeah thanks for having me yeah it's yeah, been good it's been good fun and um thank you to sam for uh creating our logo of course so um yeah. please uh stay tuned we'll have in the next um the start of next month we'll have a general podcast talking about the month of gaming and a few other things because there's not too much news so uh <laughs> Stay posted for that. And um, until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye. Bye.